Hey students, what's up? It's me, Seth. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use something called Google Keep to help organize your life. Organize your school life, your personal life, your hobby life, the things that are important to you, your hopes, your dreams, your goals, all of those things. This will help you have more fun, more freedom in life, and less stress in life. There are so many ways to use this. I use this with a lot of my students and try to get them set up on this and it just helps make life easier for everybody. And it will help you be more independent and responsible so that you can feel more like adult, an adult, be treated more like an adult, and um, really become more responsible for your own life and help you set you up for success in the future. My name is Seth Perler. I'm an executive function coach based in Colorado. I specifically help struggling students navigate this thing called education so you can have an awesome life. I don't want you to have a mediocre life. I want you to have an awesome life. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Keep, and we're going to get right to it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to open up your regular Gmail calendar. So you go into your Gmail account, which is here. You open up the calendar. Um, I like to go here through the calendar, and you're going to see this little thing here called Keep. In the upper right-hand corner, it's yellow. It's a little light bulb over there. Now, when you click that, uh, you can also get to that from your Gmail account. But I also like to take the link I'm about to show you, and I also like to put that in your links that you, in your bookmarks bar if you're using Chrome, because it makes it really easy to find it. So anyhow, we're going to open this up, see that I already got started on it here. But what I, what I want you to do is I want you to open it up into its own tab. And once you open it up into its own tab, you will see that I have started here in creating some things for you. I'm going to show you nine different things that I do with a lot of students to get set up here. Here are six of the categories right here. The first one I think people sh should do is called urgent. Urgent means things that you have to get done. They're really important. So in this case, I said, let's say we got to get a job application in. Maybe you have to pay your mom back. Maybe you have to turn in an LA uh, language arts paper by noon. And what's cool about this is one of the things you can do is you can drag these in order. So, for example, it's pr probably pretty clear that turning in your um, language arts paper by noon is probably more important than these two at this time because this is very time sensitive. Now, let's say you turned it in. Another cool feature with Google Keep is that you can check it off like that and it crosses it off down here. So, let's say you turned in your LA paper. Let's say you paid mom back. And let's say you don't even want to keep this on your to-do list you just you don't need to remember that so you decide to exit out now pay mom back vanishes from the world however you still have that you turned in your LA paper that way you can keep it as a reference and you can know you turned it in so if you're a forgetful person you know that so we have urgent here I recommend that you make that red this one to do I recommend that you make green red is alert urgent is alert green is action green means go you got to get going on these this is how you change the colors by the way you go here and you can choose your color and let's say on your to-do list this is just general things get your birth a birthday gift for someone do your science homework write your draft whatever the to-do list is don't keep it in your brain I always tell my students who struggle with school stuff the worst thing you ever want to do is try to rely on your brain to remember everything. But my students are resistant to using planners and methods like this. But this is so easy and so good that this is going to be helpful to you. Now, I want you to hit pause in just a moment. And when you hit pause, I want you to pull this up on your phone and see the interface on your phone because the interface on your phone is amazing. You can have it listed like this. That's how it'll look on your phone is more like that. But you can also do it like this where you can see everything. So go ahead and check it out on your phone. Get it downloaded to your phone right this second. Literally click pause now. Did you do it? Probably not, but that's cool. Do it later, get this done, watch this video again, and do all these things. The next thing you're going to want to have is errands. Maybe you don't do a lot of errands, but trust me, you will need this someday. You'll need it a lot. Just make it today. Get this section created for yourself. Maybe you need a new toothbrush. Maybe you need to go to the hardware store. Maybe the office store. Whatever you need in here, go ahead and make one called errands. Now, on these three up here, I want you to click to pin it because if you pin it, it will keep them on top. These are less important. 
So a lot of my students are trying to build new routines. So I work with students who have a lot of missings, late work, zeros, incompletes, they're failing classes, they're doing test corrections, um, they don't like planners, they don't like organizing. So they often are working on routines. So I like to get them set up with this. Maybe this is a fitness routine. Maybe you do three sets of push-ups, sit-ups. Maybe you do a musical instrument and you have a routine for practice. Maybe you have a morning routine because you always forget things in the morning. Maybe you have an evening routine, a meditation routine, routine, uh, whatever it is. The next one I think most of my students benefit from is having a hobbies one. My hobby is guitar. Now let's say that um, I want to do, I want to practice scales every day. I could put, I, I personally do about five different guitar exercises every day. So I could write out my whole routine, but check this out. This is pretty cool too. Let's say I want to add something here. Now this is my favorite guitarist on YouTube. His name is Tim Pierce. This is his fantasy guitar. They built him this amazing guitar. He talks all about it. You can't hear him because I muted it, I believe. So. So I wanna watch this video, but I don't have 11 minutes and 31 seconds to do that right now. But what I'm gonna do is take the link from the video and put it right there. And what's really amazing about this is look at this. It puts the link right into the Google Keep Note. And what's cool about this is the next one is called research. So if you want to add a bunch of links that you wanna research, like I a lot of times will have a lot of tabs open and they drive me nuts because they're distracting. So you can put all your links of things that you wanna research some other day right there. Now, I told you I was going to give you nine. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up by doing it the next one. The next one we're going to set up is you just click take note, but you have to click title first. And then I'm going to put random. Why? Because Seth gets a lot of random ideas. And so I'm going to close that. It's down here. I get a lot of random ideas. You can just plop them in there. Every time you have a random idea and you want to get it somewhere so that you can deal with it someday, you can put it right there. The next one that I think you should do is called money. The reason is, is because as you guys get older and more mature and life gets more complicated, you are going to have to start thinking about certain things as money. You might be paying bills. You might have a goal. You might be trying to buy a car. Um, so you, you might want to purchase something for yourself. You might owe somebody. So this will help you track things that are money. Now, money is green so I'm gonna make that one green just like the to do and I'm gonna pin this one because I think the money stuff can be pretty important but I'm gonna pin that to keep at the top because if it's dealing with your money you want to be sure you're keeping track of it okay now another one I think you should do is someday I didn't I didn't spell that right but whatever for now and that one is just someday you, you get an idea, you're like, oh, someday I want to buy a motorcycle. Someday I want to learn how to horseback ride. Someday I have a goal of paragliding or whatever it is. Um, a real one for me is uh, kite surfing. So someday I want to learn to master kite surfing. So anyhow, you can add ideas down there. And then the last one I want to show you is probably your least favorite, but it is schoolwork stuff. Did I open it? Yep. So this, let's say that you're writing a paper for a class, let's say for social studies. What's cool is that in your, if you have a social studies paper, you can label it social studies paper. You can take all your notes in Google Keep, on your laptop, on your Chromebook, on your phone, doesn't matter where you're at, you can keep all your notes here. You get an idea, you're on the bus, you can jot the idea right in there. It'll be there next time you open your computer. You can plop it into your paper. This is amazing. There are other features here, by the way. You can add people, you can do all these things, but those are the main things. You can do all different subjects. You can create these for, you can do a random, what's my homework? You can make one just called homework, whatever you want. Anyhow, what I told you I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you nine ideas. What I think you should do now is go back to the beginning of the video go ahead and start watching it and set up your Google Keep now don't wait till later why because if you're like me and if you're like the students I work with you there is no later you won't get to it so just do it right now open up your Gmail first open up your Google Keep in a new tab go ahead and make these categories just trust me there you don't have to overthink it I did the thinking for you you can add to it I have on my Google Keep probably 50 categories literally 
Um, so that's where I track all my ideas. In fact, my blog ideas, like this vlog I'm doing right now, I had in Google Keep because I have blog ideas in there, and this is one of them. So I'm making this video based on one of those ideas. So basically, urgent to do Aaron's money. Urgent's probably the most important for people like you and I because we are forgetful. And then these other ones I suggest you do for your different areas of life. I believe that this will help your life, help make your life more fun, have more freedom. Again, my name is Seth Perler. Parents, if you are watching this, um, I have an executive function quiz on my site, sethperler.com. I'll link it below. Um, and it's a great quiz to help you see where your kid's at with executive function stuff and give you some tips and stuff. If you like what I'm doing, please give this a thumbs up on YouTube. Like it, subscribe. It helps my channel grow and my word get out to more people. And please subscribe on my site and support the work I do. I hope you have a fantastic day, students. Um, and I'm really glad that you're here and that you took the time and the effort to do something that is good for your life. I have a lot of respect for that. Be well. I'll see you soon.